new season rewards announced, Zen is unstoppable, and all of EU starts beef. My name is Anton and you're watching This Week on Rocket League. This is of course the series where we take a look at all the crazy and stupid things that this game has had to offer during the past 7 days, and somehow, this game never fails to surprise me. I just had to play super safe and not choke. That'll be a great philosophy. <laughs> I actually didn't know what to do there, I wasn't actually trolling. But now let's check out what's been happening this week. And it's that time of the season again when Psyonix announces the new season rewards only for half of the communities to start an uncontrollable hate train on Twitter because they didn't make exactly what they wanted. So Psyonix actually came out with two different rewards this time with these new trails and halo toppers. And surprisingly, most people seem to like them. Except this guy. Dude, have you seen these? But as always, let me know what you thought about the season rewards. Do you like them or would you have wanted something else? Moving on to esports, where EU had their first RLCS regional of the split last weekend. The new org PSG Thunder began their RLCS campaign with a convincing 3-1 loss to Soh. PSG have been in the RLCS for less than half an hour, and they're already a bigger bottle chop than their football team. Other teams that disappointed or didn't disappoint depending on how you look at it included Oxygen, who got absolutely smacked by Scrub Killers Hogan mode in the first round. I sure I'm glad I didn't pick them to be top 5 in the EU this split or anything. Oxygen did manage to beat Monkeys in the next match to stay in the tournament. Next round, they had to face BDS though, who had been dropped down by Carmine Corp in the upper bracket quarterfinals. Oxygen were then dropped out after a failed reverse sweep, after which Rice decided to return the favor after being dropped in the replies of a tweet by Oxygen by doing it to them. Jorius then got a little offended and wondered why Rice didn't like them on Twitter, to which Rice responded that obviously it wasn't a dig at the players, but the org for doing the same to him. I mean, fair enough, not only did they not give him a graphic, they didn't even give him his own tweet, but returning to PSG Tundra, who also managed to beat their opponents in the lower bracket round 1 after a narrow 3-2 win over 2.5 men, they then faced G1, who they gave a whooping, and the French org with their German players then faced the Swiss org with their French players, and lost 3-1 after a close series with 4-1 goal games. Hogan mode was the center of attention, as the former world champion Scrub Killer made a deep run with the team after beating Oxygen in the first round as mentioned before. They were then dropped down to the lower bracket after narrowly failing to complete a reverse sweep against Mo Hogan Mode proceeded to make quick work of their next opponent to advance to the top 8 and the lower bracket quarterfinals. However, they had to face the loser of Carmi Corp vs Vitality, and the hype for this game was insane. It was the two best EU teams against each other, the French vs the French, Vatira vs Zen, the team with the craziest fans on Twitter vs the team with the craziest fans on Twitter. It was gonna be an instant classic that wasn't even close. The RLCS is finished, Vitality didn't just beat them. They destroyed them. Karmicorp then dropped down to the lower bracket where they did give Hogan Mode a whooping. BDS beat Moist who had been dropped down to the lower bracket after a reverse sweep from Team Liquid and moved on to the lower bracket semifinal where Rice faced yet another one of these old teammates in Vatira. And for the first time this whole season, Karmicorp didn't manage to qualify for the regional grand final, getting their second worst finish behind the Fall Major by placing fourth. Rice really just beat all of his old teammates in one tournament. This is like an extreme version of when you lose in ranked and then queue against your teammate in the next match. But over in the upper bracket final, can Team Liquid beat Vitality? No they can't, but they did give BDS an absolute whooping and earned another chance against Vitality, which they also lost, but at least this time it was a little closer. And that's the EU regional. Zen has a 100% win rate in the RLCS, which didn't stop a bunch of people from calling Zen's performance underwhelming because he didn't do crazy mechanics like in 2v2. Dude went from a team that hasn't won a regional in two and a half years and won it on his first try. But I mean, just ask the Platinums. If you can't score a pentaceiling reset triple tap psycho in every match, you basically don't know how to play the game. Vitality coach Farah had some words to say about how good Sen is for the team in his post game interview. You know, his mechanics, as much as they are the best in the world, um, it's not even his best quality in, uh, in, in 3v3. I feel like he's like one of the most selfless players I've ever seen. And he will do everything in you know, everything that, that it takes for our team and our team to, to win and it's not it's not a surprise to me after after seeing that in, in the first few screens that you know Radozin and Alpha are shining more because not only he uh, he himself can play extremely good but he makes his teammate play so much better and it's like one of the first time I've seen this in my life you know one guy uh, you know making his teammate uh, so much more comfortable on the pitch. And it's no discredit to say Zen because we had a really great fan and he's also a great player. But like, yeah, the way Zen plays and the way he transcends everything on the field and the confidence Bruce gives to his teammate and the ability they have to trust him, it just makes them feel yeah, so much better. 
so much faster. They can place it with so much. Wait. What was he talking about again? Moving out to South America, where ninjas in pajamas showed that they were still a top team by getting absolutely wrecked in the lower bracket semifinals. Signing for an org was the worst thing that's ever happened to them. The final was between last place major qualified teams, Crew Esports and Team Secret, which Crew won after a tight 7 game series to grab their second regional championship of the season. In Asia Pacific, the race for the major spot between Gladiators and Elevate took an unexpected turn, as Gladiators took a beating from Paradigm in the upper bracket semifinals. However, they faced each other again in the lower bracket final, where this time Gladiators gave them a beating. And so, the final was once again between Elevate and Gladiators which was the worst smackdown of the whole weekend, as Elevate nearly perfect swept them, only conceding one goal in game 3. And over in Limitless's playground, Limitless lost a whopping 3 games the whole tournament, as they marched through the whole region again. But now, some miscellaneous stuff from the past week, Solnes Khan and Musty started a stream series, where they would play each other 100 times over the course of 10 days. They both put $10,000 on the line, on whether Solnes could win a single game, and, well, it started about as well as you thought it would, as after 6 days the score was 60-0 and 0 to Musty. However, However, on day 7, Sunless suddenly won game 69. Yeah, this is definitely not scripted or anything. In the end, Sunlands managed to beat Musty a total of three times, which, to be honest, is probably more than I've won 1v once in my whole life. But now, it's time for a clip of the week, in affiliation with NordVPN. Each week, you guys submit your clips to the Anton the Kicker Discord. The top five are then voted on by the members and have a chance at winning 1,000 credits. So if you want to submit your own clips or influence who makes the top five for one of these videos, you can do so on my Discord server, link in the description. But before we reveal the top five, let's look at some honorable mentions. Mine made his opponents forfeit after these nasty fakes. Annex hit the ceiling musty wall redirect while queuing for attorney. Khan hit a flip reset in 1v1. Valid got this crazy 198 kph team pinch in a 3v3 match. And before we reveal the top 5, Hitboy scored a triple reset musty in a 1v1. But now it's time to reveal the top 5. Like mentioned before, these were awarded by the Discord members. Jacob hit a console record 11 heli resets in game. Bart got this amazing save in a 1v1. Alf got this wall redirect in a 2v2 match. Alf then got this flip reset in a 3v3 match. And last but not least, Master of Butterflies hit this 166 kph team ground pinch in a grand champ lobby. And that's the top 5. As always, there will be a YouTube poll on the channel. The person with the most votes after 24 hours wins 1000 credits. NordVPN gives you access to over 5400 servers across 60 different countries around the world. Can't watch your favorite Netflix show in your current location? Well, it only takes one click to change that. Look, now I'm in Denmark. I myself have been using NordVPN for a while now, and I truly believe it's a great product. And that's why I've teamed up with NordVPN to get you a discount plus one month free on your two year plan. Just go to nordvpn.com slash kicker or use the link at the top of the description. A VPN is one of the essentials for any internet user these days, and using the link in the description would really help out the channel as well. And that's it for this week's episode, hope you enjoyed it, and I know what you're thinking, it's a little bit late, uh, and I'm sorry about that, but last week just didn't go the plan at all. But I thought, you know what, I already did most of the video, so might as well just get it out. I'll probably start working on this week's episode, like, straight after this, so I could actually get that one out in time. But without further ado, let's go check out countries and stuff and this week we have a comment from nitro and he asked if we could do colombia next and we might have already done colombia but you know what we, we can do it again and right now i have 31.4 thousand subscribers which in colombia gives us quimbaya quimbaya <laughs> that was the same pronunciation i just said it like a weirdo quimbaya is this little thing right here. Really? 31,000 people in this? But as always, if you made it this far into the video, please click that like button, it would always help out a ton. Become a member if you want to support me and what I do. Follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. I'll see you guys later. Bye. And shout out to Gerardo Daniel Rodriguez Gonzalez and Stock.